Hi, I'm Joe Yusinski, Vice President of Sales for Gold Bullion International, or GBI. Today we're going to talk about the zero interest rate trap and how it affects gold prices. If you're a student of the gold market, you probably know that gold typically performs very, very well when interest rates are at zero or negative in real terms. And translation is interest rates below the actual inflation rate. And gold typically performs very poorly when interest rates are high in real terms or interest rates are higher than the inflation rate. So, for example, during the 1980s, when interest rates were very, very high, and part of the 1990s, uh, when you could go to the bank, you could buy a CD and wind up gaining purchasing power at the conclusion of that, the maturity of that CD, interest rates were positive in real terms. But unfortunately, since 2001, and greatly accelerated since 2008, interest rates have gone to almost zero, and they've gone negative in real terms. And that's typically the environment when gold really shines. But let's talk about the zero interest rate policy and how we're stuck there for quite a long time and why they call it the zero interest rate trap. If you take a look right now, it takes the federal government roughly 10% of every dollar that comes in in order just to pay the interest on the existing debt. Uh, and if you look at the existing debt, we were running 10 years ago, we were running about $120 billion deficit per year. Now we're running about $150 billion deficit per month. Uh, we're looking at total outstanding debt of roughly $15 trillion. And again, it takes us 10 cents on the dollar to service the interest on that existing debt. The problem is, though, is that interest rates are actually at zero. So if it's taking us 10% to service the interest on our existing debt with rates at or very close to zero, it doesn't leave much room for interest rates to increase. As a matter of fact, the historical average interest rate that we paid on our debt has been roughly 5%. If we went back to a 5% interest rate, it would take the federal government roughly 50 cents on the dollar just to pay the interest on the existing debt. That's before we pay for any wars, any entitlements, any domestic services. That would just be the interest. So it becomes very clear to notice, to, to realize when you look at this, that interest rates have to stay negative in real terms. There's an added benefit for having interest rates negative in real terms. And what that is is that if you are someone with a large amount of debt, a very big borrower, and nobody's a big, bigger borrower than the federal government, you're actually paying a negative real interest rate on your debt. What that means is, is that the interest that you pay to, to service the interest on your debt is actually less than the inflation rate. And what that means is that inflation actually eats away the value of your debt. That sounds pretty good if you have a lot of debt. The problem is, is that if you're paying negative real interest rates on your debt, it also means that investors are getting negative real interest rates on their savings. So when you actually take, go, take your money, bring it to the bank, and put it in a money market account, Inflation eats away the value of your currency. You have less purchasing power when you take that money out, whether it's three months, six months, or a year later. So the question then becomes, how do I protect myself from having my dollar's purchasing power be constantly eroded away through negative interest rates? Well, the answer historically has been gold. Through history, when investors are getting negative real interest rates on their savings, they've gone to the one currency that can't be diluted. Uh, the one currency that can't be printed, and that over 6,000 years has actually maintained or increased your purchasing power, and that's been gold. Gold has outperformed virtually every currency on earth for the last 10 years, and it, not coincidentally at the exact same point when interest rates went negative for the first time. So when taking a look at all these factors, you can see that the bullish, the, one of the main bullish drivers of the gold market, which is negative real interest rates, are real, and they're here to stay for a very, very long time. I hope this has been somewhat informative. I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.